do we have to start digging in national parks? With the construction of another 60 nuclear reactors across our planet, uranium remains in relative high demand. The funny thing is, to create energy, we use the rare stuff called uranium-235. That's because it is fissile and these fissions can happen at a greater chance with slowed down neutrons. And that's why we speak of thermal and fast spectrum reactors. In thermal spectrum reactors, the neutrons have been slowed down by a moderator. Having said all that, uranium-235 is about less than 1% of what you find in nature. More than 99% of the uranium you find is uranium-238, which is what we call fertile. Given the right circumstances, uranium-238 absorbs a neutron and turns into fissile plutonium-239. But that's a story for a different video. Since uranium-235 is so relatively rare, we need to mine a lot of uranium to get enough fissile uranium for the existing fleet of thermal-slash-solid-fueled reactors. And this means that mining companies are always looking for new deposits to be capable to supply enough uranium. So what is this video all about? It turns out that there is a company that wants to mine uranium in a protected area in Utah called Bears Ears National Monument. At this moment, financially speaking, mining in this area is uninteresting. But with a sustained demand in uranium, this site may prove to be interesting in the future. So what is my take on this, you would ask? Well, as long as we kick the can down the road and require solid-fueled reactors to be built, the demand for natural uranium will remain. And the possible demand for tapping into these resources will remain as well. However, it might not be necessary at all. Now don't get me wrong, contemporary reactors are important. They offset a great amount of coal burning. And we have already consumed 17,000 nuclear warheads in contemporary reactors under the Megatons to Megawatts program. I say this to emphasize that we need these reactors and that they are beneficial to civilization. Also note that we might be able to extract uranium from seawater in the future. But the clue to stop us from mining uranium lies within a different realm of reactors. Simply consider the vast amount of energy contained within the depleted uranium at Paducah or the spent nuclear fuel pools and casks at every nuclear reactor in the world. These resources alone amount to countless of years of energy. Additionally, we might devise a way to use thorium as a fuel which would help the rare earth industry, particularly in the US. I think that it is far more important to develop more nuclear technologies that broaden our possibilities and keep the demand for new virgin uranium as low as possible. For as long as possible, I believe that the unearthed resources alone could last mankind for thousands of years. And that's something people need to understand when we are talking about nuclear technology. We have to consider far larger time spans in nuclear than any other technology would require. Wind and solar, for instance, only last for 20 to 30 years, while nuclear facilities can be designed to last much longer. And that's a good thing because it will bring us stability and prosperity. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.